I got in my first wildlife rehab intake of the 23 season yesterday. My friend and fellow rehabber, Jamie, who specializes in birds, got this message yesterday and forwarded it to me. I couldn't tell exactly what it was based on the photo in the screenshot there, but it definitely looked hurt, and it did look like a member of the mustelid family. Ah, as soon as I pull the towel back, I can see that this here is a little short-tailed weasel, also referred to as an ermine or a stoat. Weasels are usually brown in color, but in the wintertime, these guys get this beautiful white coat. As you saw on the screenshot of the text, the finder accidentally hit this little guy with their car. They were kind enough to stop and pick it up and find a rehabber. And it makes total sense. You can see by his body language that he's pretty disoriented right now. Weasels are usually very fast, very smart, and very aggressive, and usually their coat is definitely not this disheveled looking. I was at the office when the finder dropped this weasel off, so I made do with what I had as far as making a little intake area. I added some supplemental heat, you see a heating pad there, and right away he started to come to a little bit. Fast forward a few hours and I'm now home, and he liked this little towel, so I kept that with him. And now I'm going to try and syringe in some rehydration formula mixed with a little bit of formula just to get some calories into him. Oh man, as soon as like they accept it like that, it's the best feeling ever. Look at that sweet little face. Because this is an adult weasel, it doesn't need formula by any means, but it really wasn't strong enough to actively eat on its own, so a little bit of formula in there was just getting some calories into it. Weasels have very high metabolisms and need to take in a lot of calories. He wasn't so dehydrated that I had to stress him with giving sub-Q fluids via injection. It was a little bit easier on him to just mix the formula 50-50 with some rehydration fluids orally. There's also a little bit of medicine snuck in there to help with any possible swelling of the head and the brain. Right now, we're basically just treating with the basic protocol for a patient who's in shock or has head trauma. Honestly, this is just one of the best moments. I mean, raising baby animals is amazing, but when, look, like, look at his face. When an adult animal knows you're trying to help, it's like a whole other level of rewarding. Okay, so I tried to set him up right here by the food to see if he was strong enough to take it on his own. He was definitely still a little bit disoriented, but look, he's really showing interest in food and he's trying. He just needs a little bit of redirection to make his face <laughs> reach the food bowl. He's definitely in critical condition. I don't know how he's going to fare tonight. <laughs> By the way, I checked, and this is actually a little girl. I'm going to call her Elsa. My little queen, Elsa. Woohoo, guys! It's day two, and look who survived the night! Yay, little Elsa! Looks like her stool is a little loose from all the new food she's eating. It's kind of to be expected. And weasels are actually pretty good about picking one particular spot to potty. So over here on this paper towel, it's very soiled. There's a lot of pee on it. So that means that she also took in a good amount of fluids. She has a little bit of a poop smudge on her back, but I'll worry about cleaning her later. That's not top priority. So I cleaned up her little spot, gave her a fresh paper towel. She still really likes that towel. So I'm going to keep that in with her. And fingers crossed, guys, we are not in the clear yet, but I don't know. This little weasel, Elsa, she just grabbed my heart right away, and I really, really am rooting for this one. I'll be honest, I don't usually share a lot about intakes who I'm not confident are definitely going to survive, but I'd really like you guys along for this whole journey with Elsa, so stay tuned.